Grunkle Games. Hello. Hi. This is Grunkle Games. Board gaming on a budget. And it's a brand new year, people. 2020. Wow. Last month we played Labyrinth. It's one of our new favorites. We really love that one. So fun. And we also announced another winner of our board game giveaways. If you're interested in winning some free board games, keep watching and stay tuned to this channel. Make sure you're a subscriber. Yes. And so we're going to find out right now what our budget is going to be for this month, for January. All right, we've got a little die here. Roll it. You got to roll it last time. I want to roll it. Okay, you roll. Okay, here we go. Here, you, you kind of hold that a little for me. Oh, you we're just gonna... let me know what you want me to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Two. $20? 11 to 20. 20 is our max. Okay, I can one. handle that. That's a good budget. I think, yes. Do you have an idea in your mind already? No. $20, here we come. Let's go play a game. S gonna go play. All right. It's January, the end of January. Thank goodness. Dark, dark, more dark. <laughs> when you wake up, when you come home from work. And we needed a game. We need something to kind of cheer us up this evening. And what did we find? We found Sky Joe. Sky Joe. It's a card game. It's a very simple game, too. If you... Jess, what did you say it was like? The game Golf. Golf. It's kind of like golf. So, in this game, we each get dealt 12 cards. We can't look at them. Now that we're all set up, we take, we pick two random cards in our grid and we flip them up. So this is like golf, exactly. And the player with the biggest amount goes first. Oh, we get, do we do it at the same time? Yeah. Six and zero. You got four and zero. So I am bigger, so I go first. The game's set up with a draw pile and then there's a discard pile. So let me guess. We're trying to get matching across trying to get as low as you can and if it all matches it's zero yeah if if you've uncovered um three of the same cards in a vertical row you can get rid of that whole row mm -hmm. and it's not points mm -hmm. and during your turn what you're trying to do like i'm gonna do right now is uh take that zero and swap it out the six yeah i think i want to get rid of the six so this is exactly the move the game golf Boom. only designated for sky joe so it's fun golf you just play with regular playing cards so you wanted that what you do is if you take from the top you get a look at it and then you get to decide if you want to swap it with a face yeah. up or a card down but you can't look at a card down Negative two. You, you dirty dog. <laughs> okay. Hmm. So I've played golf with my grandmothers for years, my family for years. So I feel like I already know the rules to this game. Forgive me, babe, if I'm kind of jumping. But I do feel like I know how to play. That's okay. Uh, the game round ends as soon as a player has revealed all his cards. I'm going to never see Okay, so here's, how, here's what it says. If he chooses a hidden card from the draw pile, this, yes, mm -hmm. he may look at the card and choose whether he wants to exchange it for one of his hidden or open game cards. And if not, then what? Um, you can discard it and still flip over a card, right? If he does not want to keep the draw card, he must place it on the discard pile and has to reveal one of his hidden cards. So, basically what I did. Okay, uh, here's this. Here we go. Probably want that. I'm gonna change it. This. Oh no. Okay, dear. My turn? Yeah. Ooh. Not so good, but now it's yours if you want. It's fortunate. Ha! I want you to comment if you have played golf, if I'm the only one. Golf the, gar the card game. I don't want five. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, we played golf with our grandmother before. And I'm really now trying to decide what are the differences. What are the differences, babe? Um, honestly, an extra row. And with golf, different cards. And then if golf, like, you can also go this way. You 
can go diagonally, where yeah. you can't really do that this one. So this is obviously a good game to play with all kinds of people. Like old people, young people. <laughs> Especially those old people. I hope when you think about playing games, you think about your old people out there. What I should have done with one of those negative ones or negative twos was swap out my dang six. Or keep that six and put it in one of these spots. It's kind of risky, but if you find another six, no. jeez. I'm getting cut down. <laughs> no, not cut down, babe. Not cut down. Oh, nice. I get cut down, but I get up again. The nap gotta keep me yeah. I'm so used to these little random outspurts of songs. So sorry I haven't. <laughs> I don't comment like I feel like people normally would, but. It takes a big drink. Oh my gosh. Take the laundry. You're too funny. Songs that remind us of good times. The songs that remind us of the bad times. times. This is a lot of barnacles. <laughs> well, I don't want that. You're going to go out? Oh my gosh. Well, I had no choice. You get you one more turn. Oh, crap. So what happens now? The points of each player's open and hidden cards are added up. The player who finishes the game round must have the smallest number of points in the evaluation of the round. If he does not, because another player has reached fewer of the same amount, Whoa. it leads to a doubling of his points. Whoa! That's different than golf. So that ups the ante, folks. Oh, so that you shouldn't have just willingly gone it. out. Well, I didn't know if I had a choice. I can't pass. Well, no, but you can just... I think you can. I don't think you have to go out. Did I win? That round... Okay, so then we just keep playing. Oh, this is fun. I like this game. It's nostalgic. It brings me back to playing card games with my grandma. Seven, Schedule piles. Look seven, at your sister eight, eight nine, nine, ten, ten. Hayden is the dirtiest Monopoly player I've ever seen. It's She's like, going to hate you for saying that It's on like here. playing Monopoly with Pig Pen from Charlie oh, Brown. Oh, my gosh. Just her properties, her money, her everything is just in a giant... Hi. <laughs> and it makes Ben anxious because Ben is a board game freak. These remind me of Rainbow Nerds. Hey! I have some. Tell them the story. So when I was a kid, my grandma, the same also grandma, grandma who taught me how to play golf. This grandma is kind of like Kevin Bacon where what? any story or thing in life is only, what, six degrees away from being related to Graham. What Have are you, you talking heard? about? No. You've never heard like the six degrees of Kevin Bacon? No. There's a theory that no matter what like movie you talk about, like you're only like six connections away from Kevin Bacon. Being so that's what you're saying Graham is in my life? Yeah. Like Everything I talk about is on Golf, only... rainbow nerds, you know, all this stuff. She would be honored. I hope you're watching that, Graham. I'm still looking through the rules to see if you could just pass. Higgledy piggledy. I'm pretty sure you can. I really think that that's a thing. Will you look through these really quick? Skydo, I do not know what that means. It kind of reminds me of Jai Ho, the song from Slumdog Millionaire. If he chooses a hidden card from the draw pile, he may look at the card and choose whether he wants to exchange it for one of his hidden or open game cards. Are you drowning me out as I'm trying to prove you wrong with the rules for no, once? No, no. Jai Ho! Yeah, it reminds me of Sky Joe. Sky Joe! I do, I agree. Anyway. Okay. So did you find if we can... Yeah, so basically, yes. You can look at your card and decide whether or not you want to replace it with a card or your reveal card. You don't have to go out in game succession. So if I pick one up at the top, I can just stick it there and do nothing Yes. Else. Okay. Just like you can through the rest. Okay. If you're a big time gamer, this would probably be one you just play a couple rounds at the start of a game night, you know? Warm you up. Like a lap around the block. Yeah, or if you have like a game group and you play D&D &D like every week or whatever, but you're waiting for one of your players to show up, you can play this while you're waiting. I must make an announcement at this point in the production <clears throat> that um, last month we played Live Labyrinth. Uh, I played it wrong because we ended it 
when I found my last treasure, but the game says you have to get back to your starting place in order to actually win. Oh, yeah. But I will say that we played the game again on New Year's Eve off camera. And we did play it right. And I won again. Yes. So I'm going to say that win holds for the game <laughs> versus Jess They cancel total. each other out? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. And the month before, we both messed up King Domino. And so. no, Yeah, nobody noticed or commented, so... Hold me, please, to a higher standard of gaming. Also, we have two of our winners who have not claimed their prizes. Yeah, Jacob Hunsaker and Conker. Just, just you know, reach out. I'm on yeah. Facebook. You can comment here on YouTube. Let me know what game you want. If you have questions, you know, yeah, reach out to me. Reach out to we us. We want you to get your prize. I do kind of like how psychologically they made the really low point cards like a cool color and then the heavier cards are higher uh -huh, colors so I do. it's kind of stressful yeah I like that so I win again so you have 10 yeah <laughs> I like it that was a fun game good gift good gift only $15 only $15 on Amazon if you just want to chill out and play like a little game real quick like this is a great option so that was the game, baby. Next Fun. month, we'll have a whole new game for you. Subscribe. Tell your friends. Yeah. Get some games. Play some games. Have fun. Spread the word, y'all. Spread the word. We love you. We'll see you in February. Have a good one.